When I learned that nominations were being accepted for the first annual Newcomer Entrepreneur of the Year Awards, NEA, I knew I had to nominate Wajid N. Maysoon of First Impressions Hair Design here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Wajid, Maysoon and their three children moved to Canada from Iraq in 2002 with no money and no understanding of our language or culture. Having spent 28 months in limbo in Turkey waiting for what turned out to be lost paperwork. By 2007 they purchased First Impressions Hair Design and they have been breathing love, life and energy into this business ever since. We, we met in a, in a wedding, me and her, and uh, you see in Iraq we can't really, you know, you can't go with your girlfriend or, you know, it's very danger, you know, like if, uh, if the family see, see you or something, it'll be, it'll be hard on her and uh, on me also. You know, we got, uh, we got engaged in Turkey, but, you know, we got caught and sent back again to Iraq and then we decided to get married in Baghdad. And uh, six years later, we decided to leave Iraq again. And we went to Turkey again, we escaped mountains again, and we get to Turkey, and uh, I was expected it wouldn't take that long. Because they say you just get to Turkey a month later or something, you'll be in Canada. I didn't expect it. Uh, it take two years, four months because uh, was uh, some mistake happened and uh, we didn't know about it. And you know, the life in Turkey was really hard and tough, wasn't that easy. The police was always looking for Iraqi people to cut them and take the money from them or send them, send them back to Iraq. So we was living in uh, fear and because we didn't want to go back to Iraq. You know, when I, you know, left Iraq, I w wasn't really uh, have a, you know, a country I wanted to go to. But uh, uh, I said, any door will open for me. I want to start the new life because we live in the country was, you know, wasn't really great. And, uh, and I heard lots of about Canada. They say, oh, you know, Canada is not good because you'll have winter all year long. <laughs> And uh, I said, really, I said, I don't care. The first what I care about it, I was looking for to be safe and raise my family. I didn't care about the weather or about... Uh, so, yeah, well, that was our experience. When we came in, we was actually surprised. Was people were in shorts and I was expected it all year long it will be just uh, snow and cold, but it was great. Yeah. So I had three kids at that time. And uh, so I s we went to Kelsey at, the, at that time for the first month, and and then uh, that from start from eight to three, and then after that we sleep in a couple hours, and and then we go work at night with my brother-in-law in a, is a cleaning business for vacuuming until when I start learning English, and uh, that job d doesn't finish until until five in the morning. And then, uh, you know, sleep a couple hours and go to Kelsey. And, and then in between, when I come back from Kelsey, I kind of sleep those couple hours because some people wanted to do the hair, you know, cut the hair. And even me soon, she has uh, some people to do threading for them, the eyebrows. And so it was a little bit some, you know, tight, uh, tight for sleeping. But we was excited. We were so happy to start in. And well, yeah, it wasn't easy but I never think about it. It's hard, so just we have to work it out and do it. Yeah, so we never need any help from the government, like you know. So we need to be independent on ourselves because to me, if God give us the health, we can use it. So I'm just thankful to be here, yeah.
You know, when I was working in another place and uh, because I worked here before and then I left here because I want to have my own. So I went to work somewhere else and then uh, this came out for sale. Uh, I went to bank and they say, oh, you need to have a business plan and this stuff I didn't really know about them. And before when they uh, give me a loan to buy it. So it took long and then the, somebody came and bought it. So, you know, I think about it, I said, you know, I don't want this to happen to me again. I, uh, I will make things ready when anything came up, I will do it. And then uh, actually when it came up for sale again, a year later, and I went and take a loan and did it uh, and, and bought it. Yeah. So. You know, to see the business is going, uh, every you know every day and uh, and now with my kids they've been helping and uh, they've been starting having a new clients and when I uh, when I see my son after when he finished the hair school and he got his journeyman and now uh, you know uh, I f like I see now the business has been going because of him uh, and now my other son he's he like to uh, to get to the this this business also and he wanted to go to hair school and uh, you know my daughters also my my uh, daughter Daniela she does nails uh, so they uh, they are really nice to see them actually work around us and uh, in the beginning uh, you know we had a hard time finding the right people to come to work uh, was uh, was really hard to find uh, but now look like we don't have to worry about this anymore and uh, you know we have enough work for now. Uh, yes, everything going great, you know. The same thing, like you know I've been seeing like the kids grow and taking over and uh, especially I have a great daughter-in-law to be with us. So and I'm really thankful. And, and the stove. Oh, my stove, <laughs> yeah. The stove, yeah. <laughs> I have my little stove. That's so small kitchen. easy to cook for family here too, yeah. Even if it's a small kitchen here, which is, it wasn't kitchen, it's a uh, office. But I make it to kitchen. I had way better than what I had in Turkey. So yeah, I'm really thankful for that. <laughs> I'm happy I have my little space. <laughs> You know, with the time, actually, I didn't plan it, but, uh, you know, it came up with the time. And, uh, you know, we, we meet other people and, you know, we share the, you know, ideas. And, uh, you know, we find out this was a great things to do when you have some money and instead make them in a bank. Let's go use them to, to, to you know, for rental things, rental property. And maybe in the future, my kids, when they grow, grow up, they will have something to, you know, to have like for them, you know, home. And stuff. Happiness is, is everything really, every day, you know, you wake up in uh, especially the great country like Canada, uh, you know, wake up healthy and, uh, you know, safe. And that's to me is uh, more happiness than, you know, everything, you know. And, and you know, people in Canada, maybe they don't know uh, how... Uh, Lucky how lucky we are to be living in Canada because, you know, we came from bad, uh, we had a lot like bad experience from our home. Like I can't be without her, like, you know, with the stuff what we, you know, we went through. And uh, really now when, you know, one thing when we came to Canada, I see people like separate with no reason, you know, some, uh, we so surprised. We have a flat tire, they get a divorce. <laughs> 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 you know, with me, sometimes I wish if I born here, you know, everything I have looked like uh, I didn't do nothing because there are more things to do. But, uh, you know, the language and the thing kept me a little bit back, but... Uh, it's good, good thing. We went through hard way. Yeah. So that's what we learn.
I would like to congratulate Square One and Sarita for offering the NEA Awards. This initiative will encourage other newcomers to embrace the possibility of owning their own businesses. And it will also help Canadian-born citizens to understand some of the obstacles that newcomers must overcome in order to become successful Canadians.